Hello subscribers, today is July 5th, the day after Independence Day. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. I know I did. First of all, I definitely want to let you know that I didn't make a trade today. I know, I know it's going to be a week since my last trade, but uh, for good reason, I'll let you watch the uh, video as to why I made that decision. Also, uh, my last video I did let you know that I joined a few Facebook groups and I'm trying to help people out, answer any questions and, and whatnot. Be involved with the community, that's, that's, um, that's always a great thing. Um, but I'm sad to report that I actually removed myself from those Facebook groups uh, for many different reasons. One of the biggest reasons is uh, it was a distraction more than uh, what I felt like I was doing good. Uh, for, for the community. The reason why is these Facebook groups are basically designed for pump and dubs it seems like and very 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 beginning uh, beginners very beginners and that's absolutely okay I'm not knocking on, on beginners but for the majority they just they don't nobody was interested in understanding how to actually day trade and everybody's um, for the majority uh, of the people that I saw they're in it for the quick buck and you know to each their own I'm not knocking on them but it was more of a distraction and I got a lot of solicitations of hey um, take a look at stock XYZ it's gonna go to the moon it's gonna be it's gonna go a thousand percent tomorrow get in today and I didn't like that I didn't like the environment it was almost exhausting having to read through so many uh, messages posts and nobody cared and that's fine with me. Um, that's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm not here for, for that, just for the intention or anything of that nature. But I'm here to um, stay on track. Uh, I, I removed myself from those Facebook groups to stay on track and focus what I'm doing here with this channel, with my trading, with my strategy. And uh, I'm just going to get right to it. So with that being said, I also want to let you know that I have very few uh, trading rules for my strategy. And one of those few rules uh, include do not trade on Fed meeting day or Fed minutes. Um, and that's for, for many different reasons. The um, number one reason is markets tend to be flat. The markets tend to be flat because uh, the markets are waiting to see what the results are of the Fed meetings or Fed minutes and uh, they don't know where to go, whether up or down, whether uh, the uh, they're going to you know, hike up interest rates, whether they're going to eat pineapples, whether they're going to eat strawberries, whether they're going to eat uh, pancakes. Um, the markets don't know, and that's why the markets tend to stay flat. That was not the case today. I, I feel so bad, but hey, I stuck my guns, and uh, I didn't trade, and I didn't lose any money. That was the biggest perk of today, was I didn't lose money. That's a win in my book. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. It'll help me out uh, tremendously. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. And let me know what you thought about this video. If you thought this video was uh, helpful, please comment below. And also, if you have any questions as well, thank you so much for watching. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, July 5th. I hope everybody had an awesome 4th of July. I just want to mention today that... Uh, the Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, and we have uh, Fed Minutes today. And that might prevent us from making a trade. I have to be very careful as to uh, the setup that I trade today. It has to be a very good one, very strong, in order for me to play it um, again. Uh, my prediction, which I generally don't like to make predictions, um, but um, I, I think that today is going to be a very flat morning, and it might start moving after the, uh, the Fed minutes is over, which, uh, by the way, it starts at 2 p.m. Eastern time, so about 12 noon my time we might start to see a very nice move around noon. <laughs> it is setting up right here. Um, I don't like it. Um, it's just way too sketchy to, to trade today uh, on this uh, Fed day. 
Um, you you could probably squeeze squeeze it out. Let's see. Um, let's look at the two forty two fifty puts. Two forty two fifty puts. Let's even talk about today's. Or no, excuse me. This these are Fridays. Okay, they're trading at eighty two by eighty four. Um, generally, I, I, I like this right here. Um, but being a Fed day, I don't like it. That might have been it, guys. Um, 80, I, I saw it up to 88. Well, I was, um, I was, I was wrong. Looks like that was the, uh, that was a move right there. You could have been getting at 84 and getting out at 90 cents. It's 89 by 90 cents right now. We saw it around right here. Right here, you could I, I, you heard me say 82 by 84. You could have gotten at 84, and uh, been getting out of 91. That's seven cents. Wow, look at that. Uh, they're up to 98 cents now. That was that was a play right there, guys. I missed it. I absolutely missed it. Down. Um, kind of went sideways a little bit and then continued down. Wow, what a what a move to the downside! Amazing. I missed it. I completely missed this uh, on this trade today. I'm not too worried about missing this uh, move here, missing the setup. This is all part of being a disciplined trader, disciplined and patient trader. Um, only swinging at the uh, pitches that uh, we like. There's no sense in, in trying to swing at a high ball, low ball, uh, where the chances are there. But just, you know, when we're talking about money, it's worth being patient. And I know my setup fairly well, so uh, I'm not too worried about it, guys.